Let's kick things off with our last reason, the Intel Core i3-1410F's lack of integrated graphics. Yes, you heard that right. This processor requires a discrete graphics card to function, which means you'll be shelling out extra cash for a GPU if you want to game or do any graphic-intensive tasks. It's like buying a car without wheels. You can't go anywhere without additional investment. Coming in at number 7, we have its limited core configuration. With only four performance cores and no efficiency cores, this chip struggles to keep up with more demanding multitasking scenarios. If you're hoping to run multiple applications smoothly, you might find yourself hitting a wall pretty quickly. It's like trying to juggle with only one hand. At number six, let's talk about the thermal solution. While the RM1 cooler included is decent, it might not be enough for those who plan to push this processor to its limits. If you're looking to overclock or run intensive applications, you might want to invest in a better cooling solution. Otherwise, you could end up with a hot mess. Number five on our list is the price to performance ratio. While it might seem appealing at $139, when you compare it to AMD's offerings, you might find better performance for a similar price. It's like paying for a premium coffee, only to find out the local diner serves a better brew for less. Reason number four is its compatibility issues. The i3-14100F requires a motherboard with a 600 series chipset, which means if you have an older setup, you'll need to upgrade your motherboard too. This can add to the overall cost and complexity of your build. It's like trying to fit a square peg in a round hole. At number three, we have the performance ceiling. While it can reach speeds of up to 4.7 GHz, the reality is that it may not deliver the performance you expect in more demanding applications or games. If you're looking for a processor that can handle future titles, you might want to look elsewhere. It's like buying a sports car that can only go 60 miles per hour. Reason number two is its power consumption. With a TDP of 58 watts, it might not be the most efficient choice for those looking to build a low power system. If you're aiming for energy efficiency, this chip might not be the best fit. It's like trying to save money by buying a gas guzzler. And finally, our first reason, the lack of future proofing. With technology advancing rapidly, a four core processor might not cut it in a year or two. If you're investing in a new build, you might want to consider something with more cores and threads to ensure longevity. It's like buying a flip phone in the age of smartphones. 